Hello and welcome to our YouTube video on SQL injection. Now you may be wondering what is SQL injection? Well, let us explain. SQL injection is a serious vulnerability affecting web applications where attackers can execute unintended code on a server by injecting malicious SQL commands into a database query. If successful, an attacker can gain unauthorized access to sensitive data or even modify it. So if you are a web developer, this is something you must take seriously. But don't worry, in this video, we will explain how SQL injection works, why it's so dangerous and how you can protect your application from it. So be sure to watch until the end to learn how to safeguard your apps from this threat. Before we begin, if you are someone who is interested in building a career in cybersecurity by graduating from the best universities, or a professional who elicits to switch careers with cybersecurity by learning from the experts, then try giving a shot to Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity, that is, in collaboration with the modules from MIT Schwarzman College of Engineering. And the course link is mentioned in the description box that will navigate you to the course page where you can find a complete overview of the program being offered. And if these are the types of videos you would like to watch, then hit the subscribe button, like, and press the bell icon to never miss on any update. And here we go. And now we'll see the agenda for our tutorial. Starting with, we'll first see what is SQL injection. Then we'll see how does a SQL injection attack work. Then we'll see what are types of SQL injection attacks. And then we'll see the detection and prevention of SQL injection attacks. Then we'll see some real life examples that happened with the SQL injections. And then we'll have an overview of impact of SQL injection attacks. Now we'll start with what is SQL injection? SQL injection is a technique used by attackers to manipulate a web application's database queries by injecting malicious SQL code into input fields. Attackers can execute unauthorized commands and potentially gain access to sensitive information. SQL injection attacks primarily target web applications that use SQL databases such as MySQL, Oracle or Microsoft SQL Server. And now we will see how does a SQL injection attack work. So to understand how a SQL injection attack works, let's consider how a typical SQL query functions. Queries are used to retrieve or modify data from a database. Attackers exploit vulnerable input fields by injecting malicious SQL code that alters the intended behavior of the query. And attackers first study the targeted database to understand its structure and behavior. Then they craft a SQL query that the server interprets as a legitimate command. For example, or 1 equal to 1. That is a query's input field an attacker can bypass authentication and gain access, unauthorized access. And SQL injection attacks can also be used to delete data, manipulate records or retrieve information from multiple database tables using techniques like error-based injection, union-based attacks or inferential SQL injection. Now we'll see an example to understand this concept more. So consider a website that has search feature where users can search for products by entering keywords. The website uses a SQL database to store product information. In a secure scenario, the website would take the user's input, sanitize it and construct a SQL query to fetch the relevant products. For example, the query might look like this. That is select star from products where name like and the entered keyword what they want to search. So this query retrieves products whose names contain the entered keyword. However, if the website is vulnerable to SQL injection, an attacker can manipulate the input to execute malicious SQL statements. Let's say the attacker wants to retrieve all products from the database, regardless of the entered keyword. In the search field, they entered or 1 equal to 1 hyphen hyphen. The input manipulates the SQL query and this query becomes this that is select star from products where name like m percent and then or one equal to one hyphen hyphen percent in this case the attacker uses the single quote to close the existing string followed by or one equal to one hyphen hyphen to inject a new condition that is always true the semicolon is used to terminate the previous statement and the double hyphens are used to comment out the remaining portion of the original query as a result, the modified query effectively becomes that you can see on the screen and the condition 1 equal to 1 is always true. So the query retrieves all products from the database regardless of the keyword. 
and this example demonstrates how an attacker can exploit a vulnerable SQL injection point to modify the SQL queries logic and retrieve unintended data. Remember, this example is simplified for educational purposes and real-world SQL injection attacks can be more sophisticated. It's crucial to secure web applications against SQL injection vulnerabilities to prevent unauthorized access and data breaches. Now we'll see types of SQL injection attacks. So there are different types of SQL injection attacks that attackers can employ. Let's explore a few of them. The first we'll explore is inbound SQL I. I is injection here, that is inbound SQL injection. So this type includes error-based and union-based attacks, where attackers use the same channel to launch an attack and collect the results. And the next is inferential SQL injection, that is also known as blind SQL injection. This type involves sending data payloads to the database server to observe its response without directly seeing the results. It can be either boolean based or time based. And the next is out of band SQL injection. In cases where in band SQL injection is not possible, attackers leverage other channels such as DNS or HTTP request to retrieve data from the database. Now we'll see detecting and preventing SQL injection attacks. So detecting and preventing SQL injection attacks is crucial to safeguarding web applications. Here are some preventive measures. So the first measure is train employees on preventive methods. That is educate your IT teams including developers and system administrators on SQL injection attack vectors and prevention techniques. Next we could do is implement input validation and parameterized queries. Validate and filter user input using an allow list approach and use parameterized queries or prepared statements to separate SQL code from user input. That will not allow any malicious hacker to enter any SQL code into the input method. And the next is regular security scans. Perform regular security scans to identify and address potential vulnerabilities in web applications. And the next is keep software up to date. That is ensure that all software including databases and programming languages are regularly updated to include the latest security patches and protections against SQL injection. And now we'll see some real life examples of SQL injection attacks. So let's take a look at some real life examples. The first is Tesla vulnerability. In 2014, security researchers discovered a SQL injection vulnerability on Tesla's website which allowed attackers to gain administrative privileges and access user data. This was one of the SQL injection attacks. And the next was Fortnite vulnerability. In 2019, a SQL injection vulnerability was found in Fortnite that could have enabled attackers to access user accounts. The vulnerability was promptly patched. And the next was Cisco vulnerability. In 2018, a SQL injection vulnerability in Cisco Prime License Manager granted attackers shell access to computers with the installed license management system. Cisco addressed the issue promptly. And last, not the least, we'll see the impact of SQL injection attacks. So the impact of SQL injection attacks can be devastating for businesses. The first could be the unauthorized access to sensitive information and resources. And the next is potential data breaches and exposure to confidential data. And the next is data manipulation or deletion. And the next is network infiltration and system compromise. And the next is loss of customer trust and decreased revenue. And the last is reputational damage and long term consequences for the business. And that wraps up our discussion on SQL injection. It's crucial for businesses and developers to be aware of this vulnerability and take necessary precautions to prevent attacks. Stay vigilant, keep your software up to date and educate yourself and your team on best practices for web application security. And with that, we have reached the end of this tutorial. Let's take a minute to hear from our learners who have experienced massive success in their careers. Hi, I'm Philip. I'm 61 years old and last year, I upskilled with Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity after working 30 years in the IT sector in various different profiles. I'm happy to tell you that I was able to clear and pass my CISSP and CCSP certification exams on the first attempt after taking the course. The course, I must say, was packed with practical examples. It was led by highly skilled and certified instructors with many companies before as a, as a security analyst and an architect on a contract basis, but I needed some stability, which I got with the job I just started with Infosys as a cybersecurity consultant. Happened on a first. If you have any questions, 
please feel free to comment and we'll have it answered for you as soon as possible until next time thank you for watching stay safe keep learning and get ahead Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.